Welcome back to Super Liminal. It was pointed out that when you get the constellations, the uh, the title screen here changes. I don't think I've really noticed that, but like the items from the constellations appear. We have the chair in the background. We have the table on the floor, the cheese wheel. I don't remember what else we had. The piano was the vending machine one as well. I don't quite remember like how the title screen looked the first time around, but yeah. Pretty neat little details. The constellations actually do something. But yeah, we're done with developer commentary. And we just have, what is it, like two chess pieces left in here? One constellation as well. Yeah. And I, I don't remember. Did I get some, uh, some hints for this? I can't remember if I got hints. If I did, I don't remember the hints. Because I think I probably need them. So I guess we'll just jump in here. Constellation somewhere here. Yeah, otherwise I might just want to look into this. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. So yeah, it definitely error. wasn't anywhere up here. Logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. We can't error really use the soda for anything you right are now. Exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Hypothesis. Yeah, and then it's just this. Oh yeah, yeah. Someone mentioned it was like in white space instead of dark space. Impossible. Yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Reformulating. Yeah. So let's keep an eye out Improved for something hypothesis. that's like bright. I guess. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion: Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol. I guess if someone wants to like look up destroyed. those two. Well, I guess all of the chess pieces in the next chapter as well, or like hint purposes, just generally where they would be located, basis, like which area, it would be nice. Have been exhausted. This I did have a quick. Can I? Protocol. Yeah, Goodbye. we can. We can take a look at. Oh, no clip. Yeah, we can take a look at the uh, achievements. Meanwhile, okay, we're done. Never mind. Uh, I just looked through these again a little bit, and just this. Vaguely activated achievement. Congratulations on doing something. And it has the, like, balloon easter egg from the deep blue area. So, I don't know if that means anything. If I have to specifically do it in there. Or maybe it's just, like, this is just an easter egg. And it's just, you have to get all of the easter eggs or something. Just grab them all. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and this part that we can't get far enough in. Even if I speedrun, take perfect corners. Oh, we saw like a little bit of the wall where it would have just been like nothing. I think the very right side. God, <laughs> gets me every time. I mean, that's not white enough, I don't think. Like, there wouldn't be anything here. Nothing. Right? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first yeah, phase Yeah, we can't therapy, really do anything I'd here like that's relevant. Describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. There's nothing up there. This looks white. This looks white. Well, not quite, quite white. 
it's not quite white. Yeah, I don't think it's here. But maybe somewhere, like, sort of like this. Yeah, this is bright. I feel like there was some other thing I wanted to, like, test in this chapter. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective. Of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions. Yeah, this thing not be found otherwise. Uh. Here we go. Just one of them. So far, not really seeing any whiteness. Oh, I see. You you have to, like... Yeah, you have to, like, look away from it. And then there's this hallway. No? That's not yet, where we, like, fall down again. Finally, while we respect the unique right here, yeah. Every patient, I already tried. That it is possible to Let's grab an egg. Your supply of dreams, thereby entering and, like, we already did all this stuff. To wake up, there was a blueprint here. Of triggering mechanisms. Yeah, blueprints. And I went in there. There was nothing, so... This? This looks suspicious. Whoa, whoa, Jesus, I didn't even see that. Yeah, okay, that's a really sneaky one, holy crap. Yeah, like that, you don't even see that at all until you get, like, right here. That's definitely the sneakiest one out of all of the constellations, I feel. And it's just, like, randomly around the corner. Yeah, without being told that it was, like, a white space, I don't think I ever would have found that. Alright, so, what's this object? We get this. Uh... Hmm, what would it be? Like, have we... Are there any significant objects we haven't, like, had yet? I can't really think of anything. An alarm clock? Have we had that? It looks like a big thing. What is this? What is that? A coffee grinder? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> but I got the achievement. Stars align. Complete all constellations. Yeah, I don't know what this object is. But there we go. Constellations complete. Let's just see if anything happens, like, immediately when you walk out here. Ow, my eyes. No. So I guess we just quit then? Moon. Oh, it's like a projector, I see. I did not think that looked like a projector, but sure. I can't, like, click on anything here. Yeah. We now have this one that's new. Oh! Oh god! Okay, there's something going on after getting the constellations. Here's the secret that was spoiled, that there was a secret.
Fantastic. I don't know if it's like actually playing something. And we got cheese. Hello. Oh. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. That's it. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. It's just all of the Glenn Pierces. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. 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 Hello. My name is You know Dr. we gotta Glenn go through Pierce. all of these, because there's gonna be a little like hidden one Easter egg or something at the end. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. 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 Now this poor voice Hello. actor. My name is this, Dr. Glenn This sentence Pierce. must like mean nothing Hello. at this point. Name is semantic Pierce, satiation. Hello. What? Did I miss my something? My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I'm not sure what I just heard. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn If he Pierce. said something different, I guess I shouldn't be talking. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hopefully it happens again. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. 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 Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. Right, okay, yeah, th it was just that one that I happened to talk over, but that one we have heard. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yeah, it's just like all of the Glenn Pierces from all of the radios Hello, in the my game. Name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Which means we have heard Hello, all of them now. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. All right, bye Glenn Pierce. Oh. So if I like put this somewhere, can I then like Take the moon? No. Hmm. And the soda. We can't get any. S oh. Oh. Okay, no. I thought it was going to be something where, like, oh, this is wrong, this is right, and then you had to, like, trial and error to get a combination. I mean, this could be a combination thing that you have to, like, get colors for. And we have, like, red, green, white, orange, I guess? I mean, it's kind of, like, also red. It's basically just a slightly less bright red. Yellow, purple, blue. And then the coffee mug. Right, that was uh, an object as well. And the table, yeah. No. There you go. Isn't that nice? Here, you want some cheese as well? Little tiny, tiny piano. While looking at the beautiful moon, like a big pizza pie. Whoa! Jesus Christ, I don't want to go to the moon. I kind of just have to leave it here. This would have been a nice little achievement if you had to, like, place everything generally in the same area. To, like, make a scene happen. Yeah, whatever. If we hadn't learned the deep blue thing, you'd be wondering if bringing a water soda there would be possible. Yeah, like hearing blue and then knowing that water soda is blue and then taking water soda somehow into that area. But we couldn't have soda in that area anyway. So that's why I had to use the Easter egg to like jump up. But yeah, that would have been an idea. All right. Let's get out of here. I guess I'll keep this moon projector with me. Hello. 
My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Tester of the Year 1991. Polite recognition. Find the hidden trophy. Okay. I found it. Good. Wait. Hold on. There you go. Enjoy. While sipping your coffee and eating your cheese wheel. No. Get up. Okay, don't be that big. That's fine. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. Wait, can you even balance this? You could balance the O, so surely. Oh no. Oops. I just want to, like, make loading dot 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 actually, like, happen, just to see if that does anything. Oh, it's upside down, shit. Oh wait, I can just rotate objects, I'm forgetting. So we just need it to be, like, the right angle, like, vertically, and then I can rotate it. No! Don't you dare. Stop. Stop. Okay. Oops. A little, little too close. We don't want bad kerning now, do we? Beautiful. Perfect. Flawless loading screen. I guess that was nothing. And we would have had to place this, like, behind them to begin with, I guess. Oh, don't fall over. Oh well. Alright. Not sure if there's anything else we can do in here. Wait, hold on. I need the moon projector. What the hell just happened to that? And where did the moon projector go? Where did I leave that? Oh, it's, it respawned somehow. Huh. What happened to it? We can't take it in here? Can we take this in here? Yeah. But if I, like, take the piano and place it in here, it'll just disappear? Yeah. Weird. They're not allowed in there. I just want to use this as, like, a makeshift flashlight and check these corners. I should have angled it down a little more. I really should just angle it down. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Now I've got a little, like, ground spotlight. Honestly, this might not be a good angle either. That's... Ah, oh, God damn it! That's not a good angle. It should be slightly less tilted now. Just a little bit down. Just so we can, like, check these corners and these boxes. In case they would hide something inside of them. I should have had the 
the projector like further away or closer to me now. But yeah, this is fine. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. So I guess that's it. It's just a little trophy and some fun like backstage stuff, as far as I can tell. All right. Good. Guess we just return to title screen then. So, chess pieces now in white space. One second, I'll just have some tea. So yeah, I wouldn't mind some uh, general, like, areas that I need to check in. If anyone knows where these are. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sun Asculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Also, since we have all the blueprints, I guess I should go back to that one stage where we start with a blueprint door. Just to check that. Wait, and hold on. Uh, did I want to check, like, this part? I don't think there was anything else in here. You think both are at the start or around the start? Like, in here, before we corrupt this area? And now I'm just here again, and now I'm just very small. Yeah, I doubt there's a chess piece in here. This just seems like a little bonus thing. And we can't go anywhere else in here, can I? Like, on top of these, I guess I never tried, but... I mean, there wouldn't be anything, because we can just see the top of them anyway, like, by default. By just looking down at the table. Yeah, so I doubt it. What does it say? White space. Yeah? Wait, actually, yeah, I want it smaller, so that I get bigger. Well, that's like, the minimum size. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Oh, there. Implemented. Yeah, I don't see how there could be a chess piece in this area. It has to be at least, like, past this point, right? And this is a very long level as well, so like, it could be in many different places, I guess. The wiki does state there are two in that first area. And yeah, we are missing two. But like, the first area does refer to just before the corruption thing. Because how on earth could there be two chess pieces there? I guess, let's restart level. Like, I already went super small and, like, looked around in nooks and crannies and stuff. Where else would there be a chess piece? Good. Great. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the... Jump on command. ...diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream.
That's not something, is it? Is that a hole you can, like, go down into? Surely not. I guess I'll... I'll try it. If we get, like, really small. Yeah, there's nothing, like, immediately obvious. Alright, let's try getting small. Dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. Uh, and then we do this, I guess. I don't think it matters. Let's try making it very small. Is this like as small as it can be? Wait, no, I want to do the opposite here. Okay, it's getting smaller. That That's small enough, I think. We don't want to be too small or I'm not going to be able to walk at all. Yeah, I just want to check in here. If I even can. Well, this looks suspicious as well. If we're a little taller, maybe there's something in one of the pallets. Yeah, I probably should have been a little, little bigger. Let's just go and do that before I go too deep into this. Hmm? What? Was that that? What am I like? Yeah. Okay, that's just that. Like that, maybe? I still want to be small enough that I can, like, get into the gap. Yeah, this might be better. But now we can't see under here, Diagnostic but I can see above here. Oh, may not be okay. Fully Don't think we're supposed to go inside of the pallets. But this? No, I think that's just a, a label. Oh god, it's corrupting. Oh, is this something? XP plus XQ XR equals X to the power of three. What does this all mean? Anyone uh, wanna ARG this? <laughs> Hip ass. Hip and ass. Is that like intended? Is like shipping and assets or something? Do they intentionally put this here? So if you go in, it says hip ass. I wouldn't put it pa past them. Yeah, shipping and rice cakes and assorted candies. Yeah. It's like the same thing with the, uh, what's it called? The like die, die, die thing. Cloud kicker. Yeah, no idea if that's just random math or if it's something real. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols. So what else can we do here? Implemented. Implemented. That's a little smurf. Oh, it's just here as well, so it's not really hidden. Yeah, I guess you can see this equation like everywhere on those boxes. It's not a unique asset. Uh-huh. Don't turn around. Don't tell me what to do.
Yeah, I guess I also wouldn't mind knowing, like, is it something where we have to be a specific size? Or am I just, like, not looking in the right spot? Do I have to be tiny? Because there are a lot of places we can check being tiny. This feels like it would just take a little... A little too long. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocol. I do need to be tiny. Be fully oh boy. Implemented. And there are two here. How could there be two here? Like, why would there be two here? I could be a little bigger. I guess I'll try and do that then. Under the bed? I don't think we can go in here. Can I? Oh, I can. But yeah, that's nothing. I'm getting squeezed. Yeah, can't do it. Because the bed is like slightly misaligned. It's not perfectly aligned with the wall. So the gap got smaller. Nice flip. Alright, let's get warning. a little bigger. Prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Like this, maybe? Yeah, where else could we, like, do anything as a small person? It's not in there. But let's look around. Can you be small enough that you can get out of that door? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think you can get this small. Oh, can't even go through here. Oh, well, there it is. God, that's a really well-hidden one. That one's kind of mean. Diagnostic warning. Warning. Paradox prevention. And then there's another one. Is that also one I have to be small for? Also have to be small for that. Okay. Yeah, where the hell could that be then? Like, I assume it would be around the table, because that's like the only other significant thing here. I guess also, like, is it inside of that, like, jungle restaurant thing? Because that's, like, almost a separate area. Whoa. Huh? What's this? Oh, I think I, I just, like, accidentally tapped a key. I thought I, like, bumped into something. For the vending machine one, the ideal solution was to place the room inside and walk in. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like, why would you think to do that if you didn't know it was already there? You think it's in there? Okay, yeah. Prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. implemented. It did feel like there was stuff... I could do in there. Good. Uh, I do want to be, like, relatively big, though, if we can, like, be big enough to go through here. Stop. 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 Stop.
I want to go in, but like be as big as I can be in there. Yeah, like now we're too small. So wait, what do I even do about that then? I would have to like go all the way out here. That's too annoying. Hopefully this is big enough. Yeah, I'm disappointed there wasn't anything in there because that felt like such a good spot. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Just gotta really scan every corner, I guess. Also, I did see there was some achievement about, like, failing to take out the trash with those vending machines. There was an achievement for putting it correctly in the trash, or putting it, like, wrongfully in the recycling, or vice versa, or whatever it was. And then there's a final one where you, like, miss the trash, apparently. I thought I had already done that, but I don't know what the, like, criteria is. I guess we'll try that. Oh, there it is! Oh, I see it. I feel like I even, like, saw that at some point in here and just thought it was, like, a weird trick of the light or something. Because it's so reflective here. But <laughs> I, I have to be bigger! I can't even get up here! God damn it. Yeah, this one is, like, slightly less sneaky, I feel. That one I don't feel too bad about. The one in the vending machine feels a little, like, cheap. Okay, so... I guess we just have to, like... It's easier to just go in here. And then just... Make this a little bigger. Good. Yeah. Great. That's totally fine. I don't see any problem. Am I too big now? Nope, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there it is. All right. Chess master, find all secret chess pieces. Oh. Diagnostic warning. Okay. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Thought she was gonna like say something special. Oh, and I'm just stuck in the ceiling here. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Now, what is our chess reward? Nothing on the title screen. I guess we just have to go into the the like hub area and check the computer. So which which level do I want to go to again? There was one level that was like that started where I could find the blueprint thing at the beginning as well. Because I want to check that out if it's changed now that I have all of them. Yeah, it's it's right here, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, right here. Yeah, avocado. These are new. Oh yeah, the the menu. I I was thinking about that, but like it didn't register that the menu was like the way I placed it with a table and like coffee on the table and things like that. Cheese. All right, so this Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Maybe we should do and this with developer commentary. Assumption that secret or out of the way locations or technical Yeah, this is kind of, kind of pointless. Of Just want to see if that said anything new. Now it's sweet to see. They usually don't. But we don't have these ones. About it. Probably shouldn't. It's bad design. 
lovely avocados. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and in addition to the occasional puzzle generated by your mind, you may also repeatedly see images of things oh. that you obsessively dislike. Such really? As avocados. Why do you dislike Maybe avocados? This happens because you're obsessed with them. Okay. Can we plant this avocado seed somewhere? In my mind? Do we have like a plant pot or something? Is there anything else to do with this? Maybe this just counts as an Easter egg or something? It looks more like a chocolate egg than a an avocado. Like pits. Yeah, avocado pits are generally just round and not like egg shaped. Stop getting bigger. Yeah, we need like an empty plant pot or something. Okay, that's a little too small. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Yeah, and this these is aren't open. That you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue Hold on. whatever you were doing immediately so, prior I just to do... that. Like, how would I do this? Like, miss the trash? And again? Nope. I guess maybe it's like we have to take a drinks container, a soda can, to one of those specific... Like, if we check the achievement, it looks like... Where is it? This one. Take your trash elsewhere. Fail at throwing away trash. Hmm. Because it's specifically with this one, this type of trash can... Yeah, and that's as far as we can go with the avocado. Not sure if there's anything else to be done with the avocado. Can't even plant it here. Nope. Nope. Oh, here we go. Chess world. Welcome back, Dr. Pierce. Oh, it's, it's this room. The room I was wondering about. And now this is open. And now we see the D. We got the D. Okay. So that's what you, like, get. Whoa. Oh, that's an interesting effect. It's just, like, a screen on display there. We're not actually moving. And this didn't count as a fire extinguisher that you had to find. And we're just like going through the level. Alright. And that's the only move we can make. Wait. No, there's two. Okay. Rook. To where? Oh, like that? Yeah, I see. I see. Moves. Calculating wind probability. Oh. Analysis complete. I must resign. Congratulations, I did it. Dr. Kasparov. You that win. was one of the secret achievements that I wasn't sure, like, what we could do. So is this some, like, famous chess game or something? I don't quite know much about chess. And now we're just back here again. Oh, and there's a fire alarm we can't even flip. So I guess that's that. So if we jump out here, we're just like in the level now? Yeah, so that's like a bit of a shortcut in a sense. 
Yeah, maybe it's related to Deep Blue. I don't remember. I've heard something about, like, I recognize the name Kasparov, however you pronounce it. I don't know if that's, like, a human chess grandmaster or something. Or if it's, like, a specific Kasparov versus someone that's, like, a famous game. Yeah, or it could be a chess move specifically. Yeah, all right, well, that's that. So that is all of the collectibles and many of the secrets, maybe not all of them, but we still have quite a few achievements. So uh, we're certainly not done with the game yet, including like all of challenge mode. Yeah, so like we could play someone else's dream from the workshop. I'm kind of not super excited about these, like having to do something myself contribute an item and upload a dream and then import a 3D model, that sounds kind of obnoxious. I don't really like when those types of things are achievements in games. Like, there's that Lemma game that I played a long, long time ago now, like a parkour Mirror's Edge type game, where that is the only achievement I don't have in that game, upload a level to the workshop, because I can't figure out that level editor and I can't understand, like, how to be allowed to upload a level. It just like doesn't work for me when I try to upload it. So it's just like annoying to have things like that. Yeah, that might be how you beat the game in half an hour. We could try that. Like, does that count? Yeah, should we should we do that? But wait. Yeah, I guess you would still need to like start from the start, right? So it's like not that useful. You skip. You go to what was it? Five? No, it's six. So you have to do these first, and then you can skip like all the way to the end, basically. Yeah, I don't think I want to try that today, but I guess we can try that like next time, maybe or something. For now, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna focus on like some of these achievements. Yeah, I'll just make an amazing super liminal map. Yeah, so I guess I wouldn't mind getting some, like, hints for these two. Because those are the ones I can actually, like, actively go and do. Start at one, go to two. Click on chess screen. Oh, right, it's just, I, I yeah, I forgot that it's, like, the chess screen, not the blueprint. Yeah, that's, that's definitely quick. I guess we can try that. Yeah, you b barely have to do anything. Sure, let's do new game. Filled with feelings of self -doubt? So just as soon do as we get to the screen, to the monitor, we can do that. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion. At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. But surely this is like a different category then, since you have to have like previous data. It's not a true any percent. A new game might just delete all of my progress. It could. But if it does, I do have uh, backups. So that wouldn't be the worst. But yeah, I sure hope that doesn't happen. I mean, I, I doubt it. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. I'm 
I'm sure that's suboptimal. You can probably do that in like one During one eyelids, single go. You will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Wait, how do we Please do this again? Oh yeah, tiny cube first. Activities. What? Fuck you! What the hell? My speed run is ruined. Bullshit. Okay, it's back. <laughs> I guess there's a fail safe where things will reset after a while. Damn it. Not small enough. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible yeah, for a glitchless run ruined. How far was this? Or how Please long was this? I don't remember. On your if I like, break out of this, you did this it. one room as well, to yeah. maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Come on. Knock it down. What are you doing? This, this is better. Knock it down. There you go. Suboptimal. There we go. Oh, hang on. Yeah. We already have all the blue blueprints and stuff, so... No risk of data deletion. Welcome back, Dr. Pierce. It's your move. Don't grab the wrong one now. And I'm not sure if you have to do this final one or if it ends on the black. I'm sure there's a sick, like, optimal route here where speedrunners just, like, swerve through, spiral through the entire thing without hitting anything. Bit Bitrate destruction corridor. Classic. Perfect framing that time. There we go. I mean, that's certainly under half an hour, but like, maybe that doesn't count. Maybe you can't make use of this chess trick to get that. Maybe it has to genuinely be a proper My playthrough. We'll see when we're done. Exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, 
Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face. I wonder why they place you like not centered in this one. We become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. I'll just sit here and relax. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. No banana. Today, you have the chance. I wonder what's up with a banana. Is it really just a banana? Facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first. It seems like it would be something that you could do something with, or at least, like, have, I don't know, some funny thing happen? I mean, I guess it spins, that's about it. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became... No guy mentioned just doing this. Either it doesn't work or they didn't think of this. They probably thought of it, so yeah, it probably just doesn't work for the achievements. Yeah, it's just like banana for scale, I guess so. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real Very dramatic. as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait up. Yeah, I mean, it didn't pop up. Oh yeah, yeah. I think you are right that the secret Kasparov chess room did have dev commentary in it. And we should check the avocado room as well in dev commentary. Yeah, no achievements, so that just doesn't work. Fair enough. So let's go to this one so we can check both. Maybe this will explain the whole deep blue and chess theme, like what that really has to do with, with stuff. Hello, and welcome to the Superliminal Developer Commentary. I'm Albert, Game Director of Superliminal. Myself Nothing here. and the rest of the team will be popping here. every now and then as you play. With subtitles open, you can see who is talking oh, and Oh, there's another the avocado. Is. Missed the third avocado. Yeah, nothing in here. Oh, wrong, nope, right way. You just have to go around. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification. Thank you for the notification. Welcome yep. back, Dr. Pierce. Hi. It's your My name is Phil Fortier, and I was the graphics programmer on Superliminal, and I also worked on some of the Easter egg design. There you go. So this room is kind of an observatory where Dr. Pierce can hang out and see what's going on in the rest of the level and have conversations with the protocol. And the layout of the board, the chess game here, is from a very famous yeah. human versus AI game. I see. And that's it. 
You don't want to, like, explain more about, like, why is there even a chess theme in Superliminal at all? Nothing like that. I don't know, did we ever find a chess piece while having developer commentary enabled? Like, when you find easter eggs or blueprints, they talk about them? I must have, right? Yeah, because I, I did find chess pieces, like, while playing through with developer commentary. So I guess they said something, I just don't remember what it was. Yeah, alright, well, that's that. Analyzing possible moves. Calculating win probability. Okay, well, now we need the trash can thing, or uh, this thing. And I don't know if I just need to look those up. Because, like, this seems uh, pretty straightforward, but I don't know exactly where to do it. Can you click the fire alarm there? No, I tried. You can click the fire extinguisher, but not the alarm. Hmm. Yeah, we can always play someone else's dream. So how does this work? Click on the water cooler to import objects. Yeah, I, I don't really want to do this. Especially not if it's going to, like, dig through my PC. I'd rather not. How do I even, like, play someone else's level? We have to subscribe, I guess. Vaguely activators pick up any object and freeze? What? Okay. What about the trash can thing then? Because if so, we could just do those at the same time. Like, can I even do it here? Just, like, pick... Pick up this? And then just freeze? It's hold an object for two and a half minutes. Yeah, not a huge fan of achievements like this. Where it's just like, just wait. And, you know, there's no indication that you even need to do that. It's just kind of obnoxious. Not as bad as the uh, Stanley Parable achievements, at least. Play the game for an entire Tuesday. You can fuck off with that. I, like, remember Hyper Light Drifter also had one of these where it's just, like, meditate for ten minutes. It's just not interesting. Why make that an achievement? Sounds like you're right about tossing it into that trash can. But where can we find those trash cans? Don't play the game for, like, three years? I actually got that one. <laughs> like, fairly recently I realized, oh yeah, I didn't, like... I saw someone stream Stanley Parable and that put it into my mind, like, oh yeah, I never, like, actually finished some of the achievements and endings and stuff in that game. So I just went back in and got the achievement. I think it's it's more than three years. It's like seven years or something. Five years? It's a long time. But I did get that one, like, naturally. Though I guess you can also just change your system clock. The problem is for that Tuesday one, you cannot. You can't just, like, start the game, say that it rolls over to midnight, and then, like, skip to the next midnight that doesn't work it has to be properly like on for 24 hours on a tuesday someone was asking how to get this and then all tab while holding it so they just got it <laughs> yeah i guess that can happen anyone keeping count I think it's been almost two minutes now. 
based on the timestamps. I, I don't even know if it works here. Maybe we have to... There it is. Vaguely activated achievement. Yeah. Not a fan of that one. It, it would have made more sense if that had a, a subtitle that said, Congratulations on doing nothing. Because then you could kind of like reason your way to this being something where you just like don't do anything. And do you specifically have to hold an object? You can't just like freeze for two and a half minutes and do do actually nothing? Because that would also kind of make sense. Yeah, and like why the icon is an egg object, which implies Easter eggs. Would kind of make sense if it was something else. Yeah, now it's just just this one. Uh, this one. Just like, where can I find one of those trash cans again? I don't really want to, like... If I am right about it, I'm just going to look it up, because, like, I don't want to look around. Or, like, where those would be. All achievements. Just put, it, put something in, yeah. But, like, to find it is the problem. Uh... Achievements. Yeah, you're just listing the achievements with the like subtitles they have. And that's the only mention of this. Wait, no, like down down here? Why is it not like going to it? Oh there we go. Yeah, specifically this one. Didn't I do that? I swear I like tried to put something in here. Yeah, it's like specifically in here, but I think I I thought I tried putting the dice in there, but it can just be any regular bin. Oh, is it just like throw away something? It doesn't have to be. Hold on. So can we do it with like the avocado? It's just anything that isn't a uh, soda can, basically. If it's a soda can, then you get the other achievements. But I don't know if it has to specifically be that type of trash can. I assume so. Yeah, this one is nice because you start next to the blueprint room, but it's kind of annoying because you have to go all the way around here. There's no trash can here. I mean, there's this. No. Yeah, I don't remember where we've seen Hello. those types of trash cans. Is Dr. Glenn Maybe Pierce. like the hotel area, this the red hotel, that you have or something. Appeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently. Yeah, that and doesn't work. Continue whatever you were doing. Well, immediately let's just prior see if that. I find one here. I guess. Here might be one? There's one. Okay, so like, does it work with a soda can? Really? I thought we got a soda can from here. Do we have anything else? I need an object. God damn it. I could have sworn we got a soda can there. Hmm. There's another one. Just give me an object, please. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any oh, that's the fake out experiences where you don't that fall. you may have recently had. Everything Any trash can here? Nope. To be nope. soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Let's 
still nothing. I probably picked like the single worst chapter for this. Here we go. Does this work? There we go. That works. Okay. Oh, and it just spits it out. Take your trash elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, now what? Now, speedrunner, play someone else's dream. Challenges. I guess we'll just start on some challenges. Because I don't really have time to, like... I guess at, at first I'm gonna, like, attempt the speedrun thing, just naturally, just new game, and I guess we'll just go through it and see if I can do it as quick as possible. See if I maybe get the, like, one hour one, but maybe not the 30 minute one. And then I might have to look up, like, what you actually do for that, if it's something, some specific skip or trick or whatever. But yeah, I guess we'll just do a little bit of challenge mode to end it off here. So we're already done with this one. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Okay, two jumps this and two grabs. You to eyelids are we might not be able to do both of them at the same time, I guess. Full consciousness and control. Ooh, yeah, I already already messed up, I think. Because, like, we'll want to grab it, like, as big as possible. Place it down a little bigger here. So that I can just grab it and have it be big. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Confirmed. You can move 30 minutes is decently hard. Glitchless speedrun is 21 minutes. From your well, if it's glitchless, then... Maybe that'll work. I, I don't know. I'll have to protocol, check it out, I guess. My voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of Isn't your this, patient what? care team. Oh, it's a care. challenge now. I see. Ah, I see. Okay, I get it. This is cool that it like changes some of them. It's not just like boring. Just keep doing the same thing. There's some like differences here. Yeah, neat. Oh god, only two grabs? That's gonna be kind of rough. Now, what is the best I can do here? I guess something like that? Yep, nice. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken glitch runs drop that down to six minutes. Yeah, who knows? I, have I could always look into some glitches. A dream. You did not wake up. Please complete this the should be easy, shouldn't it? Activities. Do I have to stand over there or do I have to stand close? Yeah, I might have to stand like further away to get it smaller to begin with. No? Ah, damn. Maybe there's a trick to it where, like, we don't use the cube, we instead use one of these boards. Because we can just, like, shove that in. Ah, damn. Let's see if it- if that even does work. It does work. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Can't jump. Oh, and, like, if you fail this, I see, I thought it was, like, two different challenges, but no, it's, you have to do both at the same time. You have to do the grab and jump challenge simultaneously. So I guess let's try and, like, grab it from further away, like this. I guess it's the trick. Yeah, that's what you're meant to do. Yeah, these are more, like, puzzles, which is neat. Just one grab, that makes sense. So we just grab it from, like, as far away as I can. Ooh, 
that's not going to work, is it? I don't think that's inside. No, it's not. Damn. Okay, how do we do that? Maybe this is slightly further away. God, how? How is that possible? I can't get it small enough at that point. It's definitely smaller in this corner, but like, it's still too big. And now we want to be as close as possible. Like, I don't know if I need to care more about... I guess this is better to do? Because then it's in the gap and will fall in. Yeah, I see. Okay, that's the, the trick. Because I was trying to keep in mind, like, the top as well. But then... Or, like, the bottom, but then the top was, like, ahead of it. So it would be in front of it. Yeah, you really gotta, like, master the perspective thing for this. Like, understand how it works. State. If you believe your One grab. Was compromised by I see, so we just have to, like, grab it and drop it onto it from here. In your post -procedural survey. That's fine. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. I don't know how hard some of these are gonna get, because so far they're okay. If it's this sort of level, then it'll be fine, but... I don't know. This shouldn't be that bad, right? Or do you have to be extremely precise? Hmm. Yeah, this might be an issue. Uh, rotate, I guess? Ah, there we go. Rotate it. That's the trick here. That's cool, yeah? I'm liking these so far! They're like genuine puzzles. They're puzzles on the puzzles, instead of just like... You know, like, I, I didn't really like Please the challenges in Portal, say, because they, they just felt kind of... I don't know, you they did didn't it. feel like something you could to figure out, really. Some of them, you kind of just had to, like, look Please up a walkthrough, which wasn't the final all that interesting. Yeah, this will prepare me for the speedruns. But how on earth do you do this in a single drop? Do I want cheese or sign? I'm thinking sign. And we just need to, like, drop it and hope that this falls, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And then don't jump. I don't think you can bang into the walls, no. Like, when things aren't moving, you can't move them. You have to already move uh, an object for it to be, like, movable in that sense. Like, if you have cheese here and it's frozen, can't do anything. But if I, like, put it down and then walk into it, well, okay, maybe cheese isn't a good example. But if it was, like, an apple or something, then I can push it. But yeah, like these, you can't jump into. It has to be an object. So yeah, there we go. That's one chapter. I wonder how many loading screens there are, and if we've seen all of them. Can't even access the computer now. I think we've seen that loading screen before. I'm not too sure. One grab? I don't even remember what we did here. Isn't this the perspective? No, it's this, I see. Okay. Just in case I need this door. Nope. We didn't. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that was simple. Two grabs, two jumps. I see. This one could be a little tricky. This looks kind of good, right? Nope, that's not good. Damn. 
Well, I guess I gotta practice this. Like, get that right. Maybe we wanna place it here instead. Because then it's like less chance that it falls over. It'll it should fall into into us inward, yeah. And then I guess I'll have to spend a jump here. But then that should be fine, yeah. I only needed one grab, not even two. And then we just have to do one jump instead of like jumping up here. Yeah, there you go. Hello. My name is Dr. Optimal. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk to you five. about being special. Yeah, I feel like it's going to so get more complicated fact, when they increase the amount of grabs and jumps that you get. Because then it's going to be we harder and harder to know like when you're allowed to use them, basically. And that might end up being a problem. Oh, is that too big? No. Oh! We can probably save a jump here. Let me try this. Like, if I... If I make it exactly big enough, like that... Can I then jump up? I can jump up. Ah! Uh, if I could, like... Have it be exactly in line... I would be able to just walk onto it. Maybe that's possible. That's too small. Hmm. We need, like, some kind of reference point or something. That's too big. What is the biggest it can be while I can still jump up on it? Hmm. Yeah, it does seem like we need to do two jumps there. Just an idea to save some jumps. We'll probably have to do stuff like that later on. So yeah. Now we can save. Ah, uh, can I? Like, do I need this? I guess I can use this cube, but is that going to take me all the way up? I don't think I can jump up this high on this thing. So that's probably bad. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. So we do need that cube, so let's just like ignore this. So I've spent two jumps and one one grab so far. So then we have to do Yeah, no, how how would that be possible? Oh yeah, because we don't we don't grab that. Never mind. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, I thought we had to like grab that as well to pop it into existence. That should be fine. Oh, come on. Get up there. Can I jump up here in one go? Yeah. But then I need, like... Oh, yeah, it's just... That's the exit, so never mind. This is, like... That's how you're meant to do it, yeah. But then... I can't take this with me at this point. I guess I can, but do I want to? Oh, there, this isn't even a level, I see. And we do need to take it with us anyway. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And uh, what did we start with here? To give you a quick update on where you are. 
we still don't Wasn't there like an object we take first? Please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates uh, to being reminded that you are oh, completely there, yeah. lost. First cube. Yeah, that's where the, the trash can is that I was thinking of. And the, the die. And the voice crack. Yeah, we don't need anything here. These haven't, like, opened or anything, have they? No. So where is the level that... the final level? It would be kind of nice if in challenge mode they would just, like, cut out the fluff in between and just have just the levels. Like, just spawn you next to the My next one. Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we Two grabs. Find you. But you should now have access to a okay, so I mean, we have to grab the moon. Your subconscious to gradually wake I guess you this up. should be fine, shouldn't it? Should and then we make it, like, as big as I can while still being able to grab to do the do door. Them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. And then I just grab the door. Yeah, that's totally fine. Simple. Hello, my name is All Dr. Right. Glenn Pierce. I think I'll have to In leave it off there. This elevator does not wake you up. Please but yeah, challenge mode is cool so far. I'm a little concerned about the future of it. If it ends up getting like really convoluted in those later levels, where like it'll be very hard to know how many jumps you have to use and how many grabs you have to use for each section, it could get annoying. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, save and quit just, like, quits the game, so I guess main menu is the same thing, so, yeah. But we got quite a few achievements. Seven more. I don't know about this workshop stuff. I'll probably just, like, look into that myself, honestly, because it's not really something I would want to do on stream, especially not if it's, like, I'll have to test it out first to see, like, how this all works. I'm sure there's a tutorial or, like, guide on how to get it easily. So I can just, like, make something, upload it, delete it instantly, or whatever. So then it's mainly just mindful, super luminal, and, uh, where is it? Speedrunner. Dream within a dream would be fun. Like, I wouldn't mind checking some of the most popular levels or something. We can do that. Yeah, I'll just reveal all my files and dox myself. It'll be fine. Yeah. All right. That's that. Cool. Super liminal. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Probably uh, some Genshin during the week, but otherwise more stuff next weekend. Good night.